the sounds of the highlands. Anywhere we can buy Nurofen? Hi everyone, I'm at my aunt and uncle's up in Aberdeenshire in Scotland and uh, it's a lovely evening and tonight it is supposed to be clear so I'm going to set my cameras up and I'm hoping to get them a nice image of a star trail over their home and also I'm going to set up a time lapse as well so let's get a little bit of astro done. dogs are barking at me I think they want to join me in the garden but they'll have to stay up behind the gate so I've got two cameras with me on this trip I've got my EOS R which I love to bits it's been a great camera since I bought it but, uh, bought it when it came out I know Canon have gone through many many iterations since this but um, yeah it's such a, a nice little camera and on there I've got the 14 millimeter uh, 2.8 Samyang lens uh, and I'll be looking to do a star um, a star lapse with that so a time lapse of the stars on the other one I've got my astro modified Canon 6D and I've got the double battery pack on the bottom so uh, I need to put some batteries in it though I don't think I bought all the batteries down that's all right I'll sort that out I've got all the batteries with me so uh, and what I'll be looking to do with that one is a star trail so uh, I'll be looking forward to doing that so I'm just going to get them framed up now uh, before tonight and then when tonight comes I'll be ready to go if I can get this battery in let's try that way that might work a bit better there we go Now with the EOS on, the time lapse is actually done via a video setting, which is quite nice. So um, I don't need an intervalometer or anything. And with the Canon, I've actually got Magic Lantern downloaded onto a, a, a SD card inside it, and that's got a built-in intervalometer. So um, I'll be using that tonight and trying that out. That's actually quite a nice picture that. Eh? 
Okay, so I've got them finally framed up and I'm happy. I did change the lenses over. I've gone for the Sigma Art 24 to 70 sitting on my EOS R for a time lapse. This is going to be shooting at f2.8 at 24mm with a full frame camera. And I've got the Astro modded 6D, which is also a full frame camera with the 14mm f2.8 lens by Samyang. Um, and this is going to be doing a star trail. So I want that north is directly above the house so that's what i want to get and hopefully i can get them a lovely picture with their garden their house and a star trail over the top that's the plan and uh, i'm going to be out in a few hours time when it gets dark and give it a go so wish me luck and uh yeah let's hope for a good night of astro Okay, so we had one little session the other night. Last night was supposed to be clear, but changed. Tonight was a bit, mm -mm, but it seems like it's turning out all right. So I'm gonna set up my cameras again for another star trail. Um, hopefully a time lapse because the last time lapse didn't work. I don't know what I've done, must have pushed the wrong button. Um, I'm gonna use the moon, which is up there at the moment. Uh, for focusing and uh, I'm also going to get the drone up to get a bit of the sunset which looks really nice at the moment and I'm also going to use it in the blue hour in the dusk because it's got a night setting on it and see what other detail I can get so I'm going to get this set up and hopefully tonight I have a bit more success I didn't do very well the other night I didn't get what I was after but tonight I'm hoping to do a little bit better. So the Canon 6D will be doing the time lapse with the built-in intervalometer with the Canon Magic Lantern software. Um, and if you haven't heard of that, um, it's a free software that you can download. Um, it goes on an SD card um, in your camera and stays on there. <clears throat> when you turn the camera on, you push delete and it goes to this extra menu. There's a built-in intervalometer, there's loads and loads of tools. And then when you format the card, you just literally format the card within the camera and it won't format that file, it'll keep it. If you take it out and put it in a different device and format it, it'll delete everything and get the card back to blank. So I've got a large card in here so it doesn't take up any of the space. I've still got plenty of space for recording. 
But yeah, if you've got a Canon camera, especially an old one, check the models. I've got a 6D, it's perfect for that. Gives you lots and lots of features.